Bonjour. Welcome to another little look at this week's back issue haul, courtesy of Comics and Fantasy in Hornchurch, Essex. Hello, Paul. And New Dawn Comics in Rayleigh, also in Essex. Hello, Jamie. And hello, Lizzie. In no in no particular, they're just both of them, but both. So there's no. I haven't done. I've, I've done them in a little bit of an order, but their details are in the. In, in the description, so they do mail order. I think they've got website, both got websites, etc. etc. Et and they're on whatnot and different bits of bobs. So they do new and back issues. Get in touch with me, we'll do a lot, lot worse. Best two comic shops in Essex. Look at this. Oh, yes, yes. I've never had this in my possession ever. Because a lot of these back issues I'm getting back, you know, over the years, the collections come and gone, but not this one. So this is the first time, and thanks to Jamie over at New Dawn Comics, who has allowed me to pay off for this weekly. Because obviously, it's, you know, it's a bit, it's up there. Lovely Gene Colan cover. And do you know what? I didn't think Gene Colan was on any of the art duties on Iron Man, but he was on issue one. I think he must have been on Daredevil and other stuff as well. I think it was work commit. He, he, he just couldn't keep up with it. So from issue two, it was George Tusker, I believe. But Gene Conan only did, this is the one and only issue that Gene Conan did of Iron Man. Unless he jumped on somebody. But you know what I mean. George Tusker done a, a hell of a long run on, on, on that. So very, I'm really excited to get that one into, into my collection. Another little early Avengers here, guys. Not in the bestest, issue 17, not in the bestest, bestest ever condition in the world, but, you know, sorry about the glare on that. There we go. Um, but, when they're, a, when they're such a good, when they're such a good price in this condition, just nice to get these gaps filled in the collection, then worry about the hundreds and hundreds. You know, I'd rather get something like this, as, you know, key issue or an issue one, whatever you want to call it, which are in the hundreds, rather than paying hundreds for like an issue 17 of Avengers because it's in better condition than the one I've got. As long as they're not falling apart, I'm normally, I'm normally up for a, you know, fine, you know, very good to fine kind of condition to get them. But these, oh, look, the first beta ray bill. And these I did have back in the day. I would have bought these and, and, and I, I put them into my, in, you know, into my shops when I got them. And the second beta ray bill. These are courtesy. Those two, first two were courtesy of Jamie. These two courtesy of Paul, who also sorted me out. If he was watching last week, was it? Did I do it last week? Yeah, the Thors, the new, the new runner with the God Butcher and all that. So I'm on a little bit. I'm on a little bit of a Thor renaissance, and this this Simmons Walter Simmons and stuff was so weird and wacky and wonderful. It is it is great stuff. You can see why it's still held. It's so much. You can see he's having fun with the character and with the Norse mythology, and you know, and just embracing it. And and he take and he did go head. He went head on into. Uh, he he always took the character seriously. He, he never did it, you know, there was no, like, for Love and Blunder and Ragnarok, although I did like Ragnarok, for, for a one-off. But anyway, that's for another video. Um, but no, he, he, tackles the, he tackles the character seriously, straight on. And I, I, I like that. That's how I like my comics, to be fair, unless, unless it is um, a comedy, you know, which is not really good. Beta Ray Bill, look. <laughs> so I'm on a... I'm, I'm on a I'm on a proper tangent here, aren't I? Uh, Paul also sorted me these out, which I didn't, I will be honest, I'll put my hand up. I didn't even know I existed. Darren Warren Johnson, whose work Paul knew I've been enjoying on uh, Transformers. And no, he hasn't just popped out the woodwork, Roy. Um, that's my real name, by the way. Um, he He's done other stuff. Yay. And again, it is wonderfully fun stuff. He has, he's definitely got the essence. And these did remind me of, funnily enough, and I know I bought them in the same week, which is weird, 
But these did remind me, it's only a little five issue miniseries, but it was awesome. Reminded me of the Simonson stuff, because it's straight on. And again, it's another writer and artist who's having fun with it. Top, top notch stuff. It doesn't get any, guys, got a big pile of defenders here to go through, so bear with me, courtesy of Jamie and his faithful assistant, Lizzie. I absolutely love this stuff. You must all know by now, these are my favourite group. Comic group. So don't start saying, what about the Beatles and the Rolling Stones? <laughs> you too. <laughs> this is my favourite. Well, certainly Bronze Age. This, this stuff and, and some of the stories inside. I've been sharing them on threads, um, if anyone's over there on the... Some of what one of the um, I mean, Havoc Havoc is the head men, Nebulon, the celestial. I mean, we'll 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 get we'll get to them. What's this? Oh, that's just the secret origin of Nighthawk. He didn't exactly set the world alight, did he, in the 70s or ever? I need to see a mini, I need to see a, a Nighthawk mini series written by uh, Bill Mantlo or because he's he's the one that's having a riot on some on some of these. Or Steve Englehart, or J.M. DeMatteis, any of those writers from then. <laughs> Have a look at the headmen. Nebulon, the Celestial Man. And there's one of these stories in, in this lot, guys, uh, called oh, something with the bozos, the headless bozos or something. And you can just see. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at that. What's he up to? They were, uh, they were having a, a properly good laugh. And there's some nice Jill Kane artwork on, on some of the covers. I mean, that's Jill Kane being inked badly, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, another one here. He's being inked badly as well. Jill, Jill Kane. Exiles in Oblivion. Look at that cover. I, I love this stuff. I would have got all, I got all this in a comic called Rampage Weekly in the, in the 70s in England. No. Yeah, in the late seventies in England, they were black and white reprints of all this stuff. So some of these comics, some of these covers, I think I've mentioned it before. It's just what got me into comics. So I suppose there is that element of nostalgia there. The mask of the assassin. He has fists of hammering steel and a heart torn by hate. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Come on. That's what a Bronze Age Marvel is all about. Hulk smash floating box. Free friends. <laughs> Great. Oh, I'm absolutely loving these. You, well, ne nearly as much as the Marvel team ups. Rhino, Solar, and Egghead in an axis of evil. <laughs> and look at this, and this looks like a, a Kirby. Yeah, Kirby cover. Al Milgram, Al Milgram inks. I mean, come on. When would this have been? 70. Oh, 76 maybe? 70, yeah, 76. So yeah, when Kirby when Kirby come back to Marvel. Around the time he was doing 2001 and Machine Man, uh, no, well, yeah, maybe, anyway. For another day, Devil Dinosaur. And that's, and I know I've said it, if I'm going to say it again, that's the Valkyrie I like. That's where Madonna got all her ideas from. Back in the early days of her Remember that outfit she had? Anyway, I do. Because I thought, oh, that looks like, like Valkyrie. <laughs> and here's Valkyrie. I was okay here as well. And Moon Knight. Well, hey. But yeah, for, for a while, uh, sorry, because I'm looking at this backwards. For a while, Valkyrie changed her. She was given a funky new outfit and not, you know, nothing to do with Norse, Norse mythology. What is the secret of Scorpio? Oh, late seventies, another Moon Knight appearance here. Jamie didn't sting me for these though, so I don't know if they're. I don't suppose they're particularly key issues. I, I suppose all he would have been in his Marvel spotlight around this time. So perhaps at the same time they was trying to really, you know, trying to push him in in his own in his own title. Little bit of a little bit of a guest starring run there. Another one with um, which I'll probably skip over because I'm not a big biggest fan. Nighthawk. Another nice Gil Kane cover. Hold somehow, I don't know. That's what I loved about the Defenders. 
a red guardian. Now, not the bloke from Stranger Things in the Black Widow movie. This is Red Guardian, yeah. That's Red Guardian. I'm surprised they swapped that out though. Normally it's the other way around, Marvel, isn't it? <laughs> um, I thought this was a really, really beautiful cover, actually. I thought that was a great, a great cover. But and it's all it's the characters are just, I mean, Hellcat, you know, a bit like Nighthawk. She was well, she wasn't the bestest, was she? Of characters, I mean, they're both in this one together, so perhaps there might be some excitement there. <laughs> Looks like they're getting put through the ringer. But, um, yeah, anyway, that's another little run, another little 20 issue run of Defenders, all the way up to what's that, issue 80? Oh no, issue, issue 55. I've got a load of them saved, courtesy of Joe, a load with Paul as well. So, again, thank you guys, and also thank you to everyone who is subscribing commenting and liking love you all my sexy sexy subscribers you are the best if you're commenting love you and, and we're getting into it now I've, I've noticed a few so thank you if, if you're commenting let me know what you're getting let me know what you do like what you don't like what i might should be picking up a couple of, couple of nice recommendations come through on the new comic stuff which is my other weekly video so until then i will leave it at that Hope you enjoyed a little look at what I picked up this week. And I'll bid you all adios. Mm -hmm.